Hardware recommendations. I'm Paul Brarin from Tinkertry here. VMUG Advantage asked me to share some general hardware recommendations with you today. And note I have a blog post associated with today's video, which has links to everything I'm talking about here. I would say a great place to start, especially if you've not had any NVMe drives running in your home lab yet, would be my video. What you need to know about running VMware with U.2, M.2, and PCIe NVMe SSDs like the ones you see here. In that video, I outlined the many reasons why NVMe is usually a great choice for your primary VMFS data store, a place to keep those VMs where you really care about performance. The gumstick M.2 form factor is typically what many folks go with, and for cost reasons, premium consumer brands like Samsung Pro and Sabrent are often top choices, but just be aware that those aren't warranted for server use, including for vSAN cache use. If VM cloning is going to be a common thing for you, that involves huge stained writes, so TLC drives would likely be a better choice than QLC SSDs for such tasks. Gladly, as we head into 2021, the M.2 slot is very common these days and is found in the popular current low-cost mobile processor-based Intel NUX and the popular step up to the Supermicro Super servers that have out-of-band management, which allows placement in any room in your house that has Ethernet cabling, uh, doing an entire install of ESXi without the need for local keyboard and mouse, this is possible with things like the, uh, super, the popular Supermicro Super Server Bundle from Wired Zone. Note, if you're thinking about Tanzu or NSXT, you'll likely want a system capable of at least 120GB of RAM. And gladly, in 2021, there should be many more relatively affordable systems that are capable of 256 or even 512GB of RAM in both Intel Xeon and AMD Epic. Consider 10G networking too, built into most Xeon D systems since 2015, that allows really speedy NVMe to NVMe transfers over the network, such as when you do a vMotion. Thank you. Bye for now.